Home of forewarn weather, rated Middle Tennessee's most accurate forecast. Winter took its time getting to the mid-state. We had the second warmest December on record, but we're making up for lost time. Very cold temperatures this morning and snow and ice possible tonight and tomorrow. Let's start with an overview of what you can expect tonight and tomorrow because that's going to be the issue by this time tomorrow morning on the roads, particularly as snow moves in after midnight. It's going to be mixed with sleet to the south of Interstate 40. That dividing line between the snow and sleet is going to move north of Interstate 40 as we head towards tomorrow morning. So I think we're going to see a brief period of snow in Nashville and then more sleet mixed with freezing rain. Either way, it's messy. Mostly snow in southern Kentucky and northeastern Middle Tennessee. That's where the greatest accumulations are expected to occur of snow. For Metro Nashville, still thinking around an inch or less of snow in most spots around Davidson County. A little bit more the farther north you go. We're going to be right on that dividing line, but that sleet and freezing rain mixed in as well. So I'd anticipate some messy road conditions by this time tomorrow morning. That system's off to our northwest. This batch of snow showers is very, very light. It's going to run headlong into the dry air over our region. It's just going to fall apart. So again, we're waiting until after midnight for that snow shower activity to move into the northwestern part of the midstate. Temperatures right now, they're cold. That's the issue in the short term is it is bitterly cold outside. Five right now in Livingston, seven in Cookville and Cross. 15 degrees in Nashville, kind of the middle ground, 18, the warmest spot we can find right now in Parsons. Just enough of a breeze stirring around that you have to contend with single digit wind chills in a lot of locations around the mid state as well. Feels like six in Nashville, two in Clarksville and in Burksville, one of the current wind chill right now in McMinnville. Let's check out some weather bug temperatures and those are cold as well. Riverdale High School in Murfreesboro, 13. John F. Kennedy Middle School in Antioch, 13 as well. The Webb School in Bell Buckle, 12 after you bottomed out at nine degrees. A pretty sunrise out there and we're going to see a lot of sunshine this morning before the clouds start to thicken up, but that sunshine is not going to help our temperatures temperatures very much at all. A little bit more cloud cover visible as the skies brighten in western middle Tennessee, but still pretty dark right now in Metro Nashville. Let's check out Futurecast. In terms of temperatures, we're only going to warm up to the upper 20s for highs this afternoon. That is almost 20 degrees below average for this time of year. Clouds are going to be building in as we head through the afternoon and into this evening, but the actual precipitation still going to be off to our west and northwest throughout the day and through the first half of tonight. By midnight, it's going to be knocking on our doorstep. We're using a computer model to simulate what's going to be happening where, and those are never perfect, but they give us a good idea of what the most likely scenario is with mostly snow in southern Kentucky and then that transition zone between snow and more cold rain in southern middle Tennessee. And you see the most densely populated parts of the midstate, long interstate 40 here, are going to be in that transition zone. So just a little wobble in the forecast path could put Metro Nashville in all snow or could put us in all cold rain. Right now we anticipate a little bit of snow and then some sleet and freezing rain to mess up the roads with more snow in southern Kentucky and eastern middle Tennessee before all of that gets out of here as we head into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. How much snow overall? Well, we're talking about the heaviest amounts. Just look at the pattern before I put the numbers on the map in southern Kentucky and it rapidly tapers off. Look at how fast that transition happens between nothing and a few inches of snow on the ground in northern middle Tennessee and in southern Kentucky particularly. I think on the Tennessee side of the border, Two inches is going to be about the upper limit until you get into the higher terrain along the Cumberland Plateau and the Eastern Highland Rim. But if you don't pick up as much snow, that's when we bring in the possibility of icy accumulations. Not a lot of ice to weigh down power lines and tree branches, but enough to cause problems on the bridges and overpasses in particularly. So we'll set the panicometer at allow some extra time, especially the first half of the day tomorrow. We will warm up above freezing, so you don't need to stock up on perishable food items or anything like that. And it's never a cause for panic. The stuff will melt eventually especially with rain in the forecast by late Thursday before that potentially turns over to snow again by Friday afternoon. Melanie. All right, no milk and bread just yet. All right, thanks, Paul. We'll take a look out on the roads. We have another update for you on a